in 2002, I read a book called The E-Myth Revisited by Gerber. The E-Myth Revisited. And, Great and book. for any, yeah, any entrepreneur, if you're, if you're in, in the hunt to, for being your own business owner, that is an absolute must read. So I started reading this book and I kid you not, I started to cry chapter one because it was me. And the e-myth is this entrepreneurial myth. It's a myth that if you're a really good salesman or you're a really good technician, if you're, if you're a really great welder, doesn't make you, you know, really qualified to run a welding company. Right. And so we have, like all of us, had, have, we have this, this seizure and it's like, oh man, I want to do my own business. And that is the best day and the worst day of your life. Mm. Right. Because you can be, I was a really, really, really good salesman. Nobody was close. In fact, I was one of the first salesmen to ever sell an uh, under the sink reverse osmosis system in the, in the state of Utah. Are you serious? Yeah. Wow. I was the first one to really start to grow um, a real water business in the state of Utah. So I was kind of on the leading edge of water purification, water filtration. And so I read this book. And every single chapter, I'm just like, oh, I'm highlighting. I'm reading it in the gym. I'm reading it in the sauna. I read it like three or four times. I have my original copy and it's fallen apart. But I digested that information with repetition. And I kept going over it and going over it and going over it. And I, I got to tell you, um, it, it makes a difference. And it talks about creating systems then. Be, you can be a great salesman or a great welder or a great auto mechanic. And then when you tr you try to level up to becoming an entrepreneur, there is a whole new set of skill sets that you have to learn because it is very different. And you can be those great technicians is what they call it in the book, a technician. But if you don't learn how to become an entrepreneur and work on the business and not just in it, then you're going to fail. Like yeah. that's why so many businesses fail today. It's like 96% of businesses in the first 12 months fail according to the small business uh, administration. So, so I started reading all this stuff, right? So I'd been in business for since 1996. So I'd made it through like five, six years. And then I read this book and I just leveled up and I knew that I had to change. And what one of the things that they taught me was so powerful in this book is that you look at the competition of what they're doing and you do the exact opposite of what they're doing. Differentiation. Yes. So I sat back <clears throat> and I looked at the water treatment industry as a whole. And you had a lot of like really good hardworking individuals, but they were kind of this from this era of Kirby vacuum sales people who would go door to door and they would, hey, have a set of steak knives, get in the door and then do this full um, demonstration and where they vacuum the floor and they would do a demo and they would sell maybe two out of 10 demos. And so it was all about going door to door and getting your demos. How many demos a week? At bats. Yeah, how many at bats? And you're gonna hit a home run maybe two times out of 10. And that's, that's pretty good. And so the cost of those products that they would sell would be very high to support a low closing percentage, right? Sure. And people, I looked at it and they said, what is, and I put the client in the center. And it, here's a little tip. If you really want to know how good you are is ask yourself, what are you selling? So some real estate agents might say, I sell real estate. Or a welder will say, I, I, I sell phenomenal welds. I'd sell trailers or whatever you're welding. But really, and in the water industry, it was I sell this, you know, water treatment filter, whatever it might be. But what I learned is it's the client's experience is what you sell. It is, and part of what that experience is in the center, part of it is the product, part of it is the financing, part of it all kind of accumulates into the client experience. Mm. So you have, I took a look at the experience and I'm like, all right, what do people experience in this water business? High pressure, one call close, Kirby vacuum sales tactics, because they all came from the Kirby vacuum sure. industry. Right. Because you can, like, when I was 15, I'm watching this sales guy do this really cool demo on our kitchen table, and I can see it right here. My mom's right here. And he was doing the soap and the testing. I'm like, wow, that is really cool. You can't make this up. It's real. 
Like it's, so my trust went up. And so it's, but it putting the client experience, that's what I sell is I sell the most amazing client experience on planet earth when it comes to water. No one is better. I have dialed it in and it started with that book, The E-Myth. Huh. You got to watch, you got to read the book. I'm on it. I'm on it. Phenomenal book. Rob, why would somebody want to watch this podcast? Why wouldn't you? We have a good time. You're going to learn something. And by the way, it's awesome. You should click it. You should watch it. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe right now.